right, guys, you are looking at the Wedgeco Extractor Kit. $69.50. When this showed up on the CLK Supplies website, a lot of you started saying, get one, show us how it works. And it is kind of cool. Real leather case, got a spring leather clip on the back to hang on your belt. Pretty tough. I don't think that's going to be breaking anytime soon. On the front, um, it's got a pocket here. I really Velcro, and there's nothing in it. I don't know what it's for, but I would use it to keep emergency chocolate in or perhaps your cell phone. I don't know. But you got a pocket there. The real magic is inside. A little nylon zipper. It's not ever going to corrode on you. And you got a bunch of tools in here. Um, let's take a look at them one at a time. This weird looking set of needle nose, if I can get my camera to work with me here, super fine tip on this thing for reaching down inside of a keyway. They are serrated. I really hope that's showing up. So if you got a soft key, these hardened steel uh, jaws on this, the tips will grab a hold of it and help you extract it out of the keyway. The other thing that you have are a pair of forceps. Now these are curved tip. So if a key is partially protruding, you know, my fingers are chubby and they're soft. And if I try to grab a partially protruding key, I'm probably just going to end up shoving it back in the keyway. So that's not going to work. So instead, again, hardened steel and we got some serrations. I can grab that broken chunk of key with some fairly good control and bring him right on out of there. It's kind of starting to look like a uh, surgical instrument tray here. And this is the, the real magic. These are called spiral extractors. Um, it's sharp as a needle. I really hope this is showing up. That thing is incredibly sharp. And then spirally wrapped around and soldered to that needle is some kind of super hard wire. So you can see how this might work. You would take, find some small crevice, you'd feel around, find it with the tip, slide it in, and then start turning with that hex-shaped handle, and it'll just thread itself right inside of there. Then it's wedged in, and then you can extract it. Well, if my thumb was the key and my finger, forefinger were the body of the lock, the body's not going to give, but that key would. I'm, when I pull this, the key's going to come with it. So that's the theory anyway. Let's try it and see if it really works. Um, what I've done is I have machined away a piece of a, uh, a core, and all the pins are gone, but the way this usually plays out, we have a piece of broken key. Let me just stick them right here for a second. The way this usually works is someone comes home inebriated, and they start, they're leaning, you know, putting a little sideways pressure on the key, and it doesn't usually break in a fat part of the key. It's going to break in the narrowest part, the lowest cut, just like you see there. So they... They're pushing the end into their door, they have a little sideways, and as soon as it gets right there, the leverage snaps it off. Now, if they would just stop messing with it right there and say, ah, I better call my locksmith, then you could show up with your forceps, and if I can do this through the camera, you can grab that with the forceps and you'd be able to extract it, but life's never that easy, is it? No, 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 no. Let's make life really hard. He's gonna say, ah, I broke my key. And then mindlessly, he's going to take that and he's going to continue shoving it in. He's going to open his door and then he's going to go inside and say, uh, he's going to sleep it off and then maybe call you tomorrow. Well, he's going to have this broken key and he's going to say, ah, it didn't heal itself. Dang. When you show up, you got to look down the side of there and you got to see that tiny piece of key down the entire keyway and you got to figure a way to get that thing out of there. That's where these spiral extractors come in handy. What I like to do I'll just slide it down and with that needle tip, I'll find somewhere inside of there where it fits. And usually I just follow a piece of warding. And when it wedges itself up between the key and the body, then you just give it a couple of little turns. And that really locks the, that hardened wire into that soft key. Once you've got it that far, I'm going to use my thumb as leverage here, then you'll start extracting it. Now it's going to quit right there because the side of this lock has been machined away and it's starting to pull away a little bit. But I think you get the idea. But let's say that it only came out part of the way, and you, all you'd have to do is take your spiral extractor, take it in, and then re-thread it, and then start again, pulling the rest of the way. In this case, he's stubborn. Now we get to use these fancy needle nose. They're fine enough. They're just very narrow. You'd be able to slide it down the keyway, and provided the shape of the key is right, you'd be able to grab a hold of it and extract it the rest of the way. So every tool you can imagine, whether it's grabbing it internally and dragging it out with the extractor, whether it's pulling it out with your forceps because it's protruding a little bit, 
are going in after it with this really fine tip needle nose pliers, all the tools you have to extract a broken piece of key from deep within the lock are right here. Anyway, fellas, this works really good on pin tumblers, as you just saw, but it, it works very, very well on wafer locks. There's plenty of room along the sides. And what they recommend you do there, instead of using one spiral extractor, you use two. You thread one down the right side, you thread one down the right si uh, left side, and, of course, screw them in. Once you've got them, then you take this wire and you twist it, and then you bend it down out of your way, and you begin pulling the key out. When you get it about halfway, then you can actually reach in. And this you'll notice that these are spring-loaded. So you close them, you slide them in, and then when you release them, it pushes all the wafers out of your way, exposing the tip of that key. You can then grab it and pull the whole mess out together. So anyway, fellas, this is one of those tools. Seems expensive. It's $69.50, and it is until you use it the very first time, in which case it will more than pay for itself. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Mm -hmm.